fan to MechWarriors, and welcome back to another episode of MechWarrior Battle Tech Ad Advanced 3062. I will get this, I swear. As we get into the campaigns of Bubba's Boys. Last episode, we came up with a name, and then we got to test drive a Jaeger mech, which has kicked some serious button. We and just right now, we're currently sending a little bit of love to Reldex and all the new members of LEGO's Little Legion that we've got going on here. So, uh, yeah, if you see the little, the little heart emotes up above my head... That's for all the people who are giving love. And if you have the heartbeat emote, please welcome the welcome your new friends. And for the new people who just got it, say hi using the heart emote or the Lego emote or any of the emotes that you now have glorious access to. All right, so uh, let's go figure out exactly. Crossbone XM is now following. Thank you, Crossbone, for the follow. We've brought even more people on. Oh, this is wonderful. So where have we left off right? Our pilots do not get tired, but Talik is currently out of action. So with our funds, I think we want to just immediately turn this right around into another mission. Because we still need stuff, and if we're going to spend exactly zero time doing any of this, then we want to build up as much of a mission backlog as we possibly can. First things first, we're going to check the barracks, see if anybody has actually managed to level up, which Bubba has. Uh, let's give Bubba a little bit more accuracy on his gun. Why? Because he's going to be using it for maximum range quite a bit, I imagine. Apex is a hero pilot who will eventually be, you know, kicked off the company. But until that happens, we can give her the unsteady threshold at tier 4. And that'll make her nice and safe and she won't die. Archangel is very much in the same boat. He is a pilot who will probably be kicked off the company as soon as we get enough of our terrible low-level pilots. Uh, let's see, Moon Moon has managed to level up. We can give him guts, which will bring into health or gunnery. Yeah, let's get them threes bottom across the board, and then we'll start working on the important things. They would buy this this small suppress upper. Uh, that would be a lot of money. All right, get every pilot up to level three, just so we have a baseline, and that way, after that, all all of your level ups give you some form of goodies. Tleek is currently unconscious. Uh, can I level them up here? Oh, I can. Right, okay, so there's no degraded pilot stats either. Okay. Standing by. And get you up to three. Okay, now you're at three. Red guard can get a gunnery. And a tactics. Maybe not. I don't think tactics has anything to do with sensors in this game. We can even steady threshold so you don't fall over so easily. Not SL, SLDF. Ah. Is there an SLDF grasshopper? Can you hover over the abilities? So the abilities are the bog standard that you would get in the normal game from vanilla. You have your multi-target in targeting. You have your breaching shot, which allows, if you fire a single weapon at a target, it ignores cover and other damage reduction. You've got sure footing. Uh, pilots gain one bonus evasion charge after moving, can exceed the unit's maximum movement or sprint. Uh, the mech also gets entrenched, which is a 50% stability damage reduction. So, And then you get shoot and scoot at the high level for ace pilot, which is amazing. I am... Chill out. Uh, three parts and sore in the barracks. Yeah. Guts will give you bulwark, which gives you a passive to cover, cover and guard states, both providing a 40% damage reduction rather than a 20% damage reduction. So put it inside of cover and it will be amazing. Cover and guarded, of course, will provide 60% damage reduction, which is lovely. And then, of course, you can move up to Juggernaut, which can charge into melee at sprint range. Successful melee attacks knock your target back one initiative phase, braces after melee, and death from above. Now, this is Battletech Advanced 3062 by Bloody Doves. So we're taking a little bit of a break from Rogue Tech, uh, probably for a little while, until the 1.9.1 patch becomes stable. And then, of course, in tactics, you have your sensor lock, which uh, gives you plus two sensors impaired. The target gains plus two sensors impaired effect, and it loses two evasion charges, which is going to be quite powerful in this game. And then, of course, there's Mactor Titation, which I feel is a pretty terrible ability anyway, but it's plus one initiative, and you remove one bar of stability damage when you reserve. I don't really think Master Titation does all good, <laughs> but that's just me. All right, so now that we've leveled up all of our pilots, let's go head on over to the command center and immediately turn around our undamaged stuff. Ace pilot plus bulwark seems to be the way to go with some sets of lock shot. Yeah, that might be the way. Going very much old school. Thought his name was Dovey Bloods. <laughs> no. No, it is not that. All right, let's go stubborn surrender against the pirates. That will be a three. Trap is scoring is two. We... Middle management? Wait, what? You're going to give me a one of five off an assassinate? I feel slighted, sir. But no, we'll take stubborn surrender. Tends to be a pretty straight up or down battle. 
Oh, right, I actually can't fill in my entire company. Okay, so I guess we have four days until the spider is mostly finished. I'll keep Kyogre out of action. Talik is out of action for 23 days. Yeah, we're going to cycle for the spider. I should have a, the kit to repair it. That's okay. Arbonest egg is perfectly adequate for what I'm doing. Lovely. Alright, let's go fix up our spider. America cheap. Truly true. I'm not synced with you. Yeah, unfortunately. Let's refit. And give me... Okay, so it's all repaired. It just says two tons open for the four jump jets, which we now have. I don't like his current armament, so I want to swap that. I also want to pull this off, because he doesn't benefit from this at all. Scout spider time? Might be. Could just pull this off and give him fewer jump jets. I just don't like the fact that he's rolling pulses. Because the pulses are super important and useful to me. So... I can put them on a better brawling mech. Now, I do want him to be able to fly quite far, but he just doesn't really have much in the way of options, I guess. You have four support hardpoints? Oh, you've got two in your center torso. That's right. We did grab a smaller core, this is true. Uh, let's go see if the 220 core will give him the same movement. So right now he's a 9-4. Throw the 220, he will go to a 8-12. Oh, 9-14, so 8-12. And he loses the ability to use one of his jump jets. So, yeah, unfortunately we can't actually step down in core. Oh, that kind of sucks. I do want to remove the Pharaoh, but I don't seem to have much of a choice. This will be the cheapest and fastest way to get him back in. So I'll out for regular medium lasers. That'll make him even more useless. <laughs> He's already pretty terrible. Show me energy. Yeah, he's just pretty terrible all around. 7 tons, 7 tons, 6 tons. This is 4 tons. I'd have to shave off quite a bit, actually, in order to cram in that other one. You don't need to run if you can jump. So your, your fusion core will determine not only how far you can run, but also how far you can jump. So if I were to tr drop this down to a 220, he will only have access to 7 jump jets, which will reduce his jump speed, jump distance. Since he's got a 15% bonus to his jump distance, we want to maximize that core as much as we can. So that's sort of the whole determining logic behind that. My only concern is he's not exactly good. Because <laughs> if he gets shot at at all, he just dies. 2 medium laser, 2... Oh yeah, smalls are support hard points in this. I could cram in 4 smalls doing that. I like where your head's at. Alright. You have small lasers, right? You don't sell small lasers. He doesn't sell small lasers. <laughs> Unless they're sold in the normal energy tab. They are not. Wow. Tag TR Flamers. <laughs> Oh, that's just so disappointing. There's no point in two tags, though. I will put, I will note that out. The medium laser, medium laser. Give him... Oh, I have a small laser. Okay, and a light tag. Oh, perfect. There we go. Everything's CT. So, he still has a full ton, ton left? Oh, right. Swap them for machine guns. Need another small, another pair of small lasers. <laughs> yeah, we could could give him a little bit more armor because he is quite vulnerable. So a ton of armor would go a long way on a spider. I don't need to worry so much about arms, aside from the fact that arms that fly off are not particularly useful to me. So there'll be a 10 day repair, jeez. I hate these 10 day repairs. The armor repair cost is going to be so crippling early on. Uh, can you put more armor on mechs in this mod than Rotic? I don't believe so. I don't know that for a fact, but I don't believe so. Alright, so we're not going to have that mech for the next little while. The urban mech is in 5 days. I will put the spider up top though. Let's go grab that mission see if we can't accomplish it with just a single lance rather than going for the 5 mechs. 
So, stubborn surrender. Hopefully it will work out. We need more stuff, including things like small lasers. Put in the silver bullet art. And then Bubba can drive old reliable. Which will put Reldex in the Icarus. And Redgar in the silver bullet urban. Actually, no. Let's swap that. Redgar, you've been promoted to Icarus. Actually, no. Redgar's been promoted to Griffin pilot. <laughs> He's their best pilot. Aside from Bubba. And then we have an empty Lance slot, which we can rock and roll with. All the bars seem so small. Oh, because it's a it's a 30 ton mag. <laughs> it's a 30 ton spider, man. So. Not exactly good to be a juggernaut. Could be. I mean, there's a lot of work that you could put into it. I could slow it down to urban mech speeds, max armor it up, and give it a good gun. But honestly, I think the urban mech would probably have been better suited with a plot with a PPC, wouldn't it? Because the PPC generates 10, 10 heat for 10 damage. With 7 tons. You get the PPC for free. And you're saving 5 tons of... Yeah, 5 tons of weight. You could put that 5 ton into so many better things. <laughs> Hello, Red5, five, Red5. Five. Welcome to the stream. Glad to have you along for the ride. So, uh, supporting the new loyalty badges. Oh, I, I really like how this turned out. I mentioned this yesterday, but I recently finally finished getting getting our loyalty badges all sorted out. So if you're subscribed, you get like a little icon next to your name. And uh, the, the Clan Blood Spirit Rank Talman, because I figured it was pretty accurate. Spider would be better with an XL engine. This is coming from me who hates XL engines. Hey, guess who also hates XL engine? That would be me. Just keep going around speed with max lasers. The only problem with that is that the mech only has two energy hard points. So it does have four support, which I could put in smalls or machine guns. But yes, Reldex did grant him a sub. All right, so we're going to go clear out mercs. We're going to have to be careful and effective about this one. But we'll probably just run on in anyway. But if I can grab a position up on top of this hill, that might work out for the best. Griffin and the Shadowhawk both qu quite quick. Icarus following up. I think the Icarus might actually be slower than that. And the Urban Mech. With its grand speed. Let's get it onto the road. <laughs> uh, but this mod does have light engines, which... Are you? Yes, light engines are much better. From a safety standpoint. Not from a tonnage saving standpoint. Because if you have a light engine, you don't need to worry about your mech popping immediately. Only if it loses both side torsos. But if you're at that point, the mech is almost useless anyway. Okay, we're going to have to slow down for our urban mech. Ugh. The speed. I should never have let Sprague talk me into bringing an urban mech along. I should have said, hey, can you give me a clan mech or something? But no. I let the memes get to my head. Uh -huh. Now we have to wait around for a super, incredibly slow urban mech. But hey, it's working out. It does provide quite nice long range firepower. Gotta give it credit for that much. Right, what do we see from up here? Rolling. No target. Somewhat unfortunate. How much? Eh, we're not that far away. So I guess we'll all sort of meet up here. And that'll work out. The blinding fast 232 movement. Yes, indeed. Speed like this is only seen at rare times. Where are we? Uh, I plan it. Uh, we're on uh, dawn break, daybreak. We're on the Magistracy of Canopus' home world. Well, their, their headquarters location. Mainly because when we were at our headquarters right, location, it was a little bit too dangerous. Okay, unknown mech off in the distance. We'll have to bring our weapons to bear. I do want to be having a nice high ground advantage. Vanilla map. I'm there. Not quite sure what that means. Alright, we are now in initiative. War has been joined. And you are not going to be able to do anything for a good Double long time. while. Let's go. Near Capellans, Aregans, and Torians. So we're not in clan space? No, we are not. We are actually start. We just began a brand new playthrough of uh, the 3062 Advanced Mod. Which has us currently in the uh, the small vanilla map. Do you remember the key combination to bring up the debug console? Got a mission. Uh, control shift minus, I believe. Need more arrows. Arrows broke the game. They truly, truly did. Oh, the cat girls have ruined exorbitant pills. Not inaccurate. Do I want to shoot you? Do I really want to push to get an angle on you? I kind of do. 
but I don't want to lose my high ground, so we're going to sit up here. So we'll set up like so. I missed our first. Wow, dude. Call back to season two, man. We are on season six. Oh, the uh, Starburst was pretty awesome. Starburst rode into battle in the Aramsham, her custom built Stormcrow. Which I would then proceed to get Stormcrows as my first clan mech in like three more s campaigns. Well, well, well. The assholes showed up. Yes, they did. Relics, do you get to shoot at said assholes or not really? Not really. She's gonna be a little well. She had an Irish accent? She did. She was a lot of fun. She was a uh, former Canopian slave who managed to break from her oppressors, steal a mech, and created a pretty badass company. I was quite proud of her. Give me my Timber Wolf. Uh, April ish is when you'll be able to start looting clan mechs in this mod. That's the current plan, anyway. What do you want? Alrighty, I will be able to see you, and I can grab cover while I do it. Hi. What do you got? Got an Ostrock? Wait, what? Okay, that's not fair. And a Clint. <laughs> Ostrock and Clint. Uh, Ostrock is a sixty tonner. Yes, there's. Yes, we have the text voice pack. Uh, that seems to be... to only bring up the heat... Hmm. Are you sure you have it set up? Oh, never mind, Spork already asked the question. Uh, I think we're gonna pour fire into the Ostrock as fast as we can. Cause that thing needs... Oh my god, structure exposed already? Wait, what? How did you pull that one off? I'm not complaining, I'm just questioning. Okay, the Griffin on the sprint, take advantage of your high ground. You maximum long range man. Three large scissors. <laughs> We're about to blow them sky high. Ooh, nice CT shot. If I can center core out the Ostrock, I'll actually be pretty happy with this one. What did you hit on that thing? We blew up his open his arm. Triple misses from the Ostrock, so all reliable gets to hang out nice and happy. Feeling pretty safe. And it's a party back. We got the disco back. So that would be good salvage for us. You're not gonna fire your AC2s? Why, why do you have- why does he even have these AC2s? That's my clan or girl clan wolf in exile. <laughs> I don't think they're in exile yet in this mod. Alright, step forward. Stand and deliver. Fire in. Ooh, stressed. I like that. Become more stressed. Eject from your mech. And a- ooh, it's a blackjack DB. This is some serious gear here, man. We got double heat sinks, multiple large lasers. I mean, the Clint is kind of a throwaway, but you know what I mean. <laughs> I'm just blaming. Why would they be an exile this way? For no reason whatsoever, at all, ever. That's a lot of lasers. Yeah, it certainly is. I'm gonna keep focusing fire on that Ostr. Ah, oh, missed by 52%. I'm beginning to wonder if this thing is coded correctly in order to have that advanced targeting perk because it can't seem to hit the broadside of a barn. Bubba. What do you want? Then again, I keep putting pilots who are not, you know, great. Let's make some bad decisions. Pushing back over. Speed. Got four pips of evasion. And I also moved myself out of range to shoot anybody. Cause I'm a genius. Uh whatever you want to th throw on a rave in the middle of nowhere. Yup. No, nah, Phelan and Vad were still in the midst of the <laughs> measurements at this point. Just remember, AI isn't. What? Waiting for order. All right, I do have a lovely little shot right up here. Please tell me I see the Ostark. I do not. I see the party back. Fire! Oh, good shooting with that PPC. And a solid follow-up of LRMs. So the mech is currently on, not necessarily the back, there he goes, far in his AC2s. Managed to spread across two mechs, so I actually kind of positioned no, myself pretty perfectly for him on that one. I fell in love with Battletech when my mom bought me a Metal Timberwolf when I was 15. Nice. Uh, the advanced targeting computer is only as good as the pilot, and they finally figure out how to turn it off. <laughs> Alright, so our pilots are now inspired, whatever that chooses to mean. So, let's see what Reldex can manage to... Get in out of this one. So, Reldex, do you just want to shoot and not move? 
40%. Blast away. Some solid hits on the target. Now that's what we're looking for. Okay, DB is on the move. His twin larges. This time he did not manage to connect. So now we have the advantage. I'm not sure what that advantage brings me, but we have it. Good and the Icarus. Icarus. The Icariot. Iscariot? Yes, Iscariot. We'll go with that uh -huh. one. To be fair, I am putting a lot of pressure on the pilot by having him jump. But still, you think he'd manage to hit something sometime. Uh, me, Inner Sphere Clan, Inner Sphere 100% all the way. My first introduction to Battletech was MechWarrior 2. However, I was kind of too young to actually understand what it was all about. So my first real introduction to Battletech was MechWarrior 3 in Operation Bulldog. Kicking the ever-loving crap out of Clan Smoke Jaguar like they very much deserved. So. I'm very much a fan of the Inner Sphere. Right, so we got the Hunchback currently on the back ropes now. But he will respond by moving forward with his party back. One, two, three foot. Yeah, and you just kind of lose track at that point. But yeah, better to be free in the inner sphere. Bubba. Well, I want you to move at high speed because your arm is currently exposed and I don't like that fact. Like, at all. So I'll move you back in range of the Ostrock because, you know, reasons. And I'll keep on pounding this hunchback. In fact, I will target this hunchback. See if I can blow off his shoulder. 96. And not quite enough to break it, but he is unsettled. I don't think I can work anything out of that. But he's also been moved down an initiative phase, which will mean both of my mediums will be able to shoot at him before he gets to respond next turn. Which will be nice and solid. Clint not doing anything. One, two, three, all of them missing, although only one by four percent. Time to kill my ally so I can get out of this mission. <laughs> oh. That sucks that it's broken on you. Uh, you know what? You're not actually gaining any any actual evasion by you know, doing that. Unfortunately, your only target is a target I don't want to focus on right now. So I actually have to come down the mountain if I want to target him. Oh, no, I can't even ride, so I'm just not getting a target on you at all. Right, okay. If that's the case, we're heading up the mountain and we're heading up as fast as we can manage. Hello. Copy that, Commander. Enjoy my love. Ooh, 14 damage on that one. Also hit smoke day, remember when you hit clan smokies. More lasers! Oh my god, the accuracy. At least I'm getting the bulwark damage reduction. Gives you a 40%. I just dropped my coffee and I'm fucking angry. Waiting on you, Commander. Alright, Icarus. Uh, I'd like to continue to keep pounding this hunchback. But I don't want to risk my life to do it. That, I suppose, we'll have to do. Got it. Max speed. So we'll get the higher ground. We'll target the blackjack, or the hunchback. And I'm gonna precision strike him again. Might be a little bit too much precision striking for, you know, everything. Yeah, this is long arm. Oh, no. Went, took the torso with it. Good. So what that now does is targets to his left side will now be condensed even more. So now I can move here. Risking my mech a little bit because I'm not super evasive right now. But I am bulwarking. And now when I shoot it aside, I can only hit his center torso, which is vulnerable, and his leg, which will knock him over. So let's blast away. And he ejected. Nice. So that was a nice pickup. Now my only worry is the Ostrock counterfire. I suppose his counterfire too, but he's only basically got three medium lasers. We need an old man tech first one. You know who's dumb for having all the armor. Uh, that line is so big. Yes, stuff. All of those medium lasers have now been preserved. I don't know how much that means to anybody, but to me, it matters. I'm there. So now let's see if we can't pour a little bit of fire into the black jick. Good hit. Structure exposed. Lots of clustering going on on that right torso. Did that, that Clint not <laughs> It's a Clint. What do you expect? You don't exactly give Clint Clint's to your sharpest pilots, now do you? For do you have a shot here? You do on the Clint, but I don't care about the Clint right now. The current focus is a blackjack. 
which you cannot see, so I do not care. I. I'll keep adding them up, Mom. Take IG parts. Uh, I've only got three or thirteen salvage, so I don't know if I will. There's some pretty nice large lasers going on here. Ooh, he got through my arm. Okay, Shadowhawk's now going to be on the repair. That was all my fault, though. What can I do for you? Icarus, Kid Icarus, let's go. See if we can't get a good target on. Give me one pip. I don't feel safe on one pip. Not with an Osrock rolling around. I'll feel safer on three. <laughs> you know, man. Yeah, Clint's not an easy target. Okay, managed to hit him and a center torso strike. He's feeling unsettled. I have fond memoirs of killing pilots in my Timberwolf. <laughs> Many people do. It's an easy mech to kill people with. Okay, that is my laser arm. You are not allowed to blow that arm up. So I'm going to sprint to get my evasion nice and toasty high. Get a whole bunch of high ground as well. Pull myself back from the enemy force. And then I'm going to rain on your parade. Oh yeah, that's a pretty solid attitude adjustment. Half of his weapons are down. The man is feeling stressed. And he's about to die. Ho oh, ho ho, he barely missed that arm. Large laser in a UAC-5? What, a hawk revamp? What, on a Timberwolf? You're gonna have to explain that one a little bit more to me. I am slow. Okay, we're gonna jump. We're gonna jump for the sake of keeping ourselves alive. Hi, the griffin has eyes for you, sir. Nah, I'm gonna risk it. Aha, well risked. I was thinking about doing a called shot for the accuracy bonus. Gave a, a phoenix hawk a large laser? Or a vapor eagle? Or a, what was the other one? It's go time! My relics. Relics sees nothing. Continue your movement. Hop. All right. Little bunny foo foo hopping through the forest. Oh, Shadow Hawk. Oh, okay. Choose your friends until you are playing Rogue Tech and the enemy from Flingers. Good to go. Yeah, pretty much. Alright, let's go put some pressure on the Clint. That way, it'll give me all the time in the world to deal with the Osrock. Oh, I'm so tempted. I'd like to. Uh, do I care about UX2s? Uh -huh. Or AC2s? If they were UX2s, I would care. UX twos are not horrendous. They're not great, but they're not terrible. High ground is good ground, so we'll take it all. Good morning, sir. Special PPC delivery just for you. Made with love. And heat sink and actuator destroyed. So the UX five, I don't, I don't know if we would want to do that upgrade. I mean, it's entirely possible. But I don't think I'm going to upgrade the Shadowhawk just yet. As All opposed right. to other Let's mechs first. Because we've got some really terrible ones to get through. The 2H is an awful, awful mech. But surprisingly enough, it's working. <laughs> had a Timberwolf, had a PPC, and a Gauss Rifle. Just evaded all ranges. Okay, firing a Kid Icarus. Ooh, got a penetration on that one. Alright, Kid Icarus is going to be the repair bay. Yep, try not to die. How bad is it? Is that your... That is your open arm, so I actually don't care. It's a blade of armor. Awful, it's carrying the company? What's carrying the company? The Shadowhawk? No, I'm, the mech is awful. Like, there's there's no getting around that fact. Just because it's doing well in the current circumstances that we're doing does not change the underlying structural failures of the mech. It's working reliably. <laughs> really? Because there goes my arm. <laughs> Thank you for jinxing me, Kuji. Do we have Or Reliable is living up to his name? Or Reliable just lost its arm, I don't know. I don't know, it lost its arm and a, and a uh, large laser. Or a medium laser. Someday, perhaps, a large laser. Alright, please hit this. I know you can, I have faith in you. Okay, I don't have that much faith in him. Target, center torso. Blow that sucker sky high. Right, Commander. A hole popped! Let's make it happen. Jinx, you're just chilling. <laughs> no, go on. We, we have seen the 2H in an environment that is not favorable to it. 
it is not a reliable mech. <laughs> but we will make all reliable a reliable Shadowhawk. We just need time. Time, effort, and space. High ground. Let's make some bad decisions at high speed. And take aim downrange. Okay, missing with the AC5. So Quiji truly coming in with the jinx on that one. Not only killing a pilot with a trash can going Mach 5. Oh, see, about pilots going Mach 5 in trash cans. Sprug has recently got his hands on a K9 in our MechWarrior 5 campaign. And it was hilarious. Let's put some more pressure on to you. Kind of just want to send a torso core you. I mean, actually, ideally, what I'd do is I'd take your head off, but Copy let's be honest with ourselves. What are the odds of that happening? Actually, to destroy that'll lower his accuracy. Wait, Sprague just said that money that he had to go fast. It's coming from Air Mac Pilot, who has constantly preached to me that speed is sin. I don't know where he's going with this one. Right, Icarus managed to avoid the worst of that damage. Reldex. Will Reldex be able to jump into a position to do anything? The answer to that question is a no. So the Air Mac probably out of the fight for another couple turns. Quick and dirty mod I usually do is two for the two H's. Rip out the LRM five, switch to SRM two to for a six and up the armor. Yeah, that's pretty much what I try and get to. I do need to get me an Irby model. Good to go. Alright, let's hurt you in ways that your mother didn't realize were possible. Right More there. jumping. Right now you're sort of tanking, which is not safe, but we're going to keep up with it. Take a setup, please. Firing on no. No, he will actually miss all three shots despite the accuracy bonus that I gave him, which he had nearly 70% accuracy on. You do. To be fair, the whole company does. But you in particular absolutely do. Take higher ground. I can't get up to four. Can I get up to four while also, you know, targeting the enemy? Uh, the answer to that question is new. So I'll go up here. I'll keep on raining in his parade. Let's make some bad decisions <laughs> yes, that's the link. That's his start of rolling. Once again, missing with the AC5. Getting the pilot stressed. I don't know if we should be going for an eject. If we go for an ejection on this one, that might be the way to go, but at the same time, I don't know. No Max is just running back and forth trying to keep fire going now. Flooding him with missiles. We got a large laser crit. Come on, surely that makes you panic. Bless it, Mick. It certainly is something, ain't it? Okay, Icarus. Unfazed? Yes, unfazed. Relics. Do you have a shot yet? You do. Let's go see what it can do. Be 59%. Alright. Actually destroyed times two. Reporting critical hit. And the pilot is panicking. Commander? These are all things that I view to be very positive. I'm going to sprint over to the side so I can keep my temperature under control. And then I'm gonna rain on him. And I'm going to shut off a single medium laser to keep from overheating. Here we go. There we go. Panicked again. I'm on the clock. Bubba, do me a favor. Get this pilot out of that mech. All right. Let's get so I'll go slow for the accuracy bonus. Let's see if I'm to Don't blow up his torso. Large laser destroyed. Well, who needed to pilot panic. Ways. Come on, how much stacking of this panic do I have to do to him before he finally decides that getting out of the mech is the safest option? Well, we're about to find out. Need to get my leopard model painted? You have a leopard model? Wow. I'm impressed. Nope, there he goes. Engine crit. Wait, no, we got the whole mech. That's the whole Astrock. Mission successful. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. So now the question, do we roll the dice, all of the dice, every last dice that we can roll? Because we have a 3 or 13 priority salvage on this one. 
And that's five parts right there of an Ostrock, which is a 60 ton energy mech. All reliable, little dented. Icarus, little dented. Other than that, doing good. Oh, there's so many mech parts. So, if we do this, we will be rolling the dice of hoping that 10 pieces will line up with these two Ostrock parts. The AC2s I don't really care about. Large lasers are nice. And a core. Yeah, we're gonna roll it. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we came close. Got it in a garage sale. <laughs> oh, we came so close to it, man. We got AC2s and AC2 ammo, so that's our first AC2. I don't know what we'll do with it. We also got a whole bunch of Hunterback parts, so if we can get another mission in before the end of the month, I'd like to try and keep them. Yeah, we're, we are at four out of five parts on an Ostrock. I'm keeping those Ostrock parts because... At this point, as long as we take one priority salvage, if we run into an Ostrock, we get the Ostrock. Because we'll blow up the Ostrock and we'll steal the whole thing. Unless, of course, the mission glitches out and it ends before any of that can actually happen. But not bad. There's no my cars left on the list. So some your your employer will also grab stuff from the list. And they removed the Ostrock part before it came to the random negotiation. So, a little disappointing. Red Reaper Mark II. <laughs> oh god, no, please. Don't do that to me. Please don't do that to me. Oh, I wouldn't be able to live with it. Yeah, we got, we're close to an Ostrock, we're close to a Hunchback. And we're close to, uh, we're not actually close to this, I thought we were closer than this. I have no interest in a General Locust. It has been cold. <laughs> but we need one on, actually, let's take the store. Maybe something will show up. Hanger Queen for 100 missions. Yeah, no, it's the Grasshopper J. Streak SRMs. Really, that's it. Does it, does it have an XL engine or something? It does not. It's a standard engine, standard structure, standard armor. So, what makes it useful? All right, let's go check out. Just see what sort of equipment and weaponry. Long time artillery, just sitting there for you, and a mortar tier four. Mortars are basically LRMs, except they can't be intercepted by AMS, so it makes them a little bit more reliable. Relax, Ostrak are a lot more common than the Red Reaper. <laughs> you never know. It's precision ammo. Ammunition for Gauss. Ammunition for Heavy Gauss. Ammunition for Rack 2s. Oh my. And, oh, okay. We are absolutely buying that. Yes. Purchase the rack, the UAC-5 ammunition. That'll allow us to actually field that UAC-5 and be able to keep it running. Which I do view as being somewhat important. Medium. They sell unlimited medium pulses here. Buying the rare ammo seems like a big, big brain move. <laughs> like the Gauss. Yeah. It's just so expensive. We'll get rid of some of that. Well, we'll buy some of that. Buy some of that. I wonder if heat is as powerful in this mod as it is in Rogue Tech. Because that's inferno ammunition for a mortar. Additional... Two to primary, secondary target, plus two heat damage. Always ignites terrain. One burning terrain. Two activation. Two strength of burning. Minus 25% more damage. 20 shots. Uh, did you have four Atlas parts in one of your runs that never ran into another Atlas? I don't think so. I may have had four of, like, a specific kind of Atlas. Like the AS5 uh, HAT. I think I had that for a while. So, we're normally actually pretty lucky on Atlases. Yeah, it kind of works how it did in uh, 1.7. Mortar mech, let's go. <laughs> we had a mortar mech once. It was a Clint. And it was in... I think it was in the Rumblers. And it was just not all that good. <laughs> it was pretty terrible. It's four tons, though. Four tons gives me eight shots. So that makes you... At four damage... H, four tons gives me eight shots. Or is it four shots at eight damage? SRMs, just, just show me normal SRMs? No. No, they're not going to show me normal SRMs. SRM2 is... 
Eight damage. Right, okay, okay. So it's eight damage of two shots. Or eight damage of four shots. So it's an extra heavy SRM4 that fires at all arm range. Mortars is called boring. Now, mortars are different from all up artillery. So let's actually buy that, I guess. Actually, no, it'll be here forever because this is in the system shop. So we don't actually need to worry about that. What we do need to worry about is a little bit of a refit on a couple of our mechs. Kid Ergus is a quick and easy repair on that one. 800 Seabills in a single day. We'll actually throw him up to the top. Okay, that's not implemented in this. The shift click to move things fast. And then the Shadow Honk needs a little bit of a refit. It's missing an arm, which gives us a good opportunity to fully refit the entire mech. So I drop that. I'm missing a hand and a lower arm, which I can rip off. Yep. Hand and lower arm. I actually do need it on this one. I don't actually need it over here, but I don't know if that applies to my melee accuracy. So what sort of weapons are we currently sitting on top of? We do have a UAC-5. We dropped all of this, because it's kind of trash. And the bomb in the chest. The bomb is just going to get us all killed. So if we go to UAC-5, fills up the torso pretty nicely. That'll give me 35 damage? Really? Huh, he weakened it. Hello, Shadow Swordmaster. Welcome to the stream. By the way, folks, if this is your first time watching us, make sure you hit that follow button so you get notifications every time we go live. Because you want that. Yeah, the UAC is apparently weaker than it should be because it's 35. Actually, I can't say that because the UACs are... Or AC5s and AC2s are artificially inflated anyway. But it only does 35 damage. That's a little disappointing. Snub does not match it. However, a large pulse laser would be a lot of fun. <laughs> I can't fit it. Although, if I drop all the jump jets, no, oh, that still wouldn't be enough. I'm still short. Wait, I need to drop a heat sink at that point. What's my heat efficiency with this? Right. I can afford to lose one. What I'm gonna do. No, we keep a single jump jet, move a heat sink into the head, pull this one out of here. And that gives me ammo. Two tons of UAC. Hmm. Just over three hours? Uh yeah. Plus two tons of ammo and two medium lasers. Uh this, we gotta be talking about different mechs because this thing doesn't have two tons of it. Uh two spaces for the Medium laser. So if we did something like that, actually maybe keep this in center torso. We're still not super well armored, and we're put, although the large pulse laser armor is actually pretty nice. So this would give us no jump jets, but that's reasonable. We're at 33 th for 34 heat, so we're actually pretty good on that. The UAC plus the large pulse, that ought to give him enough sort of ability to bracket his targets and opponents. It's gonna be 21 day repair, which we will probably have to go on through. But I think that'll actually work out. Because it'll keep the gun. Trap the last jump jet for armor? I'll let you know when that's done. Yeah, one jump jet is worthless. Good catch. Barrel. Dump that. Uh, equipment. Lower arm. And a hand. Weapons. Large pulse. UAC 5. Apparently I have 22 ton- It pulled the core out? Oh, I pulled the core out, didn't I? Pfft. Uh... It pulled everything off of it. That's odd. Ammo. Gun. Yak 5 Yak 5 If this Yak 5 ammo goes up, it's gonna take out the entire thing. And then one heatsink. Oh, because I moved the heat sink, right? Okay, that explains it. Give you half a ton. For a little bit of protection. There we go. We'll armor that fully up. That should work. Only 20 day repair time on this one. What, what, what changed? Does the store not sell case? Case would be a full, would be half ton. And we just armored up the mech.
It's not color coded. It confuses me. Hand axe reader with a battle max limbs composed of mime ribbon. The hand axe 55. Plus one melee, plus five melee damage. Interesting. Do you have of armor from the left arm? We could. Uh, however, there is no case currently in the shop, it would appear. Although you can apparently buy ferro fibrous armor. And foot Omicron. So, I'm reasonably satisfied with this mech. And that'll get that rolling. So we're probably going to spend about a month off. In the meantime, I will get rid of things like this Jenner, which I do not want. As well as the Locust, which I absolutely do not want. The Hunchback I want, the Blackjack is good enough, the Clint, I hate to say it, is good enough. Uh, Vulcans are good enough, and the, the Hollanders really kind of aren't. But if we run into a Hollander with a Gastro, he's only had two missions. We've had three missions. <laughs> Let's get it right. We've fought three full missions. But this is a fairly decent. So for we're going to chill out for how long is it currently predicting? 36 days. I like Elder Lyle done before that. The Urban Mech is bottom priority. So we'll be done in 31 days. Yeah, seems reasonably legit. Can I get a cheapo upgrade from engineering? That will give me... Oh. Does this give me anything useful? Not particularly. Doesn't look like this one supports multi-repair. Uh, multi and his very first mission, he managed to... Yes, we did run into a super heavy in our very first mission. <laughs> It proved to be enlightening in more ways than one. So yeah, I need to find the cheapest of these upgrades. 270 might be the cheapest of the upgrades because this will reduce our, our rebuild times. So 20 days, 20 days, 20 days. Oh no, 10 days, but it costs way more. Look at the other mech bay that'll allow you. Oh, so it does say that? Or does it say that? So we're battle up to 12 battle mechs ready for battle, plus three uh, tech points. Doesn't say anything about giving me an additional repair slot. Pretty sure it does not support multi-mech repair if you have multiple bays active. That's disappointing. That's going to slow us down a lot. But it is a much smaller mech. Much smaller uh, location, I suppose. Really can't afford it unless I sell the Blitzkriegs. Roger that, I'll sell the bloody Blitzkriegs. Mech, mech. You're gone, and you're gone. Give me a little bit of seed money. And we're gonna have to chill for about the next month or so. Because that will allow us to have our mechs reasonably back in action. Actually, isn't one of my mechs still needing repairs? No, we built the spider. Okay then. Yeah, that's a little weird. Although it is, it is a different mod. So it's not like we can expect everything from Rogue Tech to be the same. Maybe that's in a future version of the build, though. Because his April build is looking to be a pretty big one. So that might might change then. Tick tock goes the clock. Oh, well, the refit harness upgrade done. That'll give us a plus one. We're nearly broke, Commander. Will you shut up, Darius? I have it. Those under you asked for control. Are online, Commander. Yeah, that's going to save us like four days. For three days. Get me old reliable back. We're almost completely out I swear of to God, Darius, I will throw you out the airlock. Uh, I will address both of your shortcomings. There we go. K Ogre, apparently you are now honest. And Petadise is rebellious. Oh no, lost lost rebellious. So all around good. If we fire Darius, we'd save money. <laughs> good point. Let's put this plan into action. Okay, all reliable's done. So we have one, two, three, yeah, five mechs ready to rock. So we got our Icarus, which is stock. Our Griffin, which is stock. Our Spider, which is not so stock. Uh, currently equipped with a tag. Do we? Yeah, we give it additional armor. You missed Tarek being fiscally responsible. Hmm? I'm totally fiscally responsible. So twin medium laser, a small laser, in order to make up the damage difference, which it does. Also allows him to punch a little bit more aggressively, and gives him tag. Wait, wait, wait. Tag grants a 7? A plus 7 to sensor checks? 
Wow. The decay is minus one for each hex the target has moved. Evasion pips ignored by this weapon. Plus one accuracy with this weapon. Target painters grant plus one accuracy against this target. Multiple effects do not stack. Makes a 15% easier to detect and to see. That might be interesting. Oh, I don't want to remove it. But our spider is ready. Oreliable now has a large pulse laser on his fist and a UAC on his shoulder. Although apparently the model does not support the UAC on the shoulder, which is a little bit weird because we're in heavy metal world now. But yeah, that large pulse laser and the UAC should synchronize quite nicely. Apparently has improved life support. She's in plus one injuries resisted. Interesting. Alrighty, folks. So we've been streaming for about three and a half hours. A little bit longer than we normally do. Uh, but that'll pretty much wrap it up for today. Battle Deck Advance, the second mech bay, does give the second repairs. The third one does the third mech. Okay, so it does give you the advantage. It just doesn't label that right now. Cool. So we'll definitely want to get the 900,000 C, 900, C builds in order to get mech bay 2 running and rolling. Just like we would in Rogue Deck. So that's good. I think the tag was pulled straight from Rogue Tech since BTA 3062 doesn't have sensor visibility from Rogue Tech. Uh, the wording on it is not like the not like the Rogue Tech one is because the Rogue Tech sensor values are different. But it's probably based on it. Anyway, folks, uh, that's going to do it for YouTube. So we're going to say goodbye to YouTube. And then, of course, I always talk to the stream after we say goodbye to YouTube. So for the YouTube people, if you want to know what I'm saying behind your back, well, you're going to have to come to the streams, which are on Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays at 4 o'clock. On Wednesdays and Saturdays, we will be playing Battletech Advanced 3062 for the uh, foreseeable future with Bubba's Boys. And on Friday, we play MechWarrior 5 with friends of the community. If you want to be a part of that, make sure you join our Discord as well. A link will be in the doobly-doo down below. And for the people on uh, Twitch, the link will be right next to an urban mech, which will guide you to it in various ways. So to the YouTube people, thank you very much for watching. I have been T-Rex. If you like what I'm just saying, hit that like button and subscribe. If you want to see a notification every single time that I release one of these videos, press that little bell icon, leave a comment, join the Discord, have fun with us on the streams, and I will see you all in the next episode.